Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's the girl Janelle Nelly. So, what's up? I missed a week of recording because of the fact that those Thanksgiving breaks. I was going to push my Snow Angels makeup tutorial back into Thanksgiving week, but then I forgot. Yeah, um, I'm back. I am back at school because when I'm back at home, I really don't want to do anything. So, for winter break, I'll hopefully record enough videos for you guys so I can just like pre schedule them, but like finals are coming up. So, and I have like six projects to do right after this, which is why I'm wearing makeup, because I don't sleep in makeup. But besides all of that, uh, if you could tell by the title, I am reviewing a palette. This is new to me, to me. I never actually tried this brand before either. Melt Cosmetics Smoke Sessions Palette. This was originally a Christmas present, but my dad ordered it from my eyes on my Sephora account. And I was there when the package was delivered. And I'm like, well, we're going away for Christmas anyway, so I'm just gonna take it now. <laughs> um, so the package comes with the box comes with like an actual box version of this, and this is what the packaging looks like. I love it. If you guys do weed or not, you know this is a really cute palette. Come on, come on. It also kind of reminds me of Christmas. <laughs> like, um, is that like snowflakes sometimes? Is that like looking like cannabis plants? I could kind of see snowflakes so. so this palette comes with comes with eight shades two mattes six shimmers and so far is doing pretty good this is what it looks like uh, makeup revolution came up with a weed theme palette which i thought looked kind of corny like it didn't look it didn't, it didn't look cute to me whatsoever so i was like yeah, if i'm on a weed theme palette i'm gonna get it from milk cosmetics so if you don't know about milk cosmetics Melt Cosmetics is considered an indie brand, but it is sold in Sephora, which is good. Um, and they usually, I usually know them off of Bemi's video, Bemi Abola's videos, where she used like the stacks back in the day, and she would recommend them. And I did look at their eyeshadows, and it did look like pretty good quality, but I just didn't see anything that caught my eye. And then I was, I did see the release of this palette, because I tagged my friends who love weed for this palette. So it's gonna, this is really cute, you know, maybe one day, but li li lately, lately in these past couple of weeks, it has really caught my eye. So I wanted the palette. So, okay, so the Smoke Sessions palette retails for $48. Okay, so I found on the website, it is vegan and it is cruelty free. So that's good. Um, so I did play with this palette before. Um, just to play with it, just to play with it. Now, I didn't really take pictures or anything. I just want to see how it was. But so far, I am impressed. But I do have a couple of notes of how this palette works. And so, I'm just going to say for now that I'm doing my full face of makeup. Everything that I'm wearing will be listed down below. But um, so far, what I can tell about this palette is that it's one of those palettes that so far I can tell that I can wear with concealer and not worry about it. Some palettes for me, especially since I have oily skin and I have oily eyelids and I have hyperpigmentation, I need to put on the eyeshadow primer so like the color can pop. Yes, I can use a brighter, uh, a brighter um, concealer, but sometimes, honestly, eyeshadow primer does its job better for me. And so, yeah. I can name like three palettes off the top of my head that I can wear whenever. Wear without really worrying about putting a base on so that's the ABH X Jackie Ina palette if you guys have been watching any video of mine you know I have something related to the Jackie Ina palette on those days when I do like a random review on one thing the Urban Decay Naked Heat palette yes that is like a bomb palette and then the third one would be this palette if you can't tell just from that, I like neutral palettes I really love neutral palettes even the Makeup Revolution Smoke no, the Makeup Revolution Reloaded Blackout Palette, like those are pretty good palettes. Um, anything that's honestly neutral and not really colorful, I personally feel more comfortable using concealers. And then like my bright colorful palettes like the HP Oceanic Palette or my Juvia's Place Palettes because all the ones that I own are bright. I like to use eyeshadow primer. So, I'm going to fast forward through my face and then we're going to go on to the eyes. So let me know if you guys want me like to talk when I'm doing like certain reviews. And like show everything I wear or just go straight into the video because I feel like for videos like that you have to have like a lot of people who watch you I don't have a lot of people who watch me but I appreciate every single person that watches me I appreciate every person who watches me because y'all took the time out of your day to watch me for however long you watch me and um usually most of the time I'm very tired and the main the reason why I'm very energetic in this video is because I'm not I'm not tired I took a nap actually everything that I will be wearing will be listed down below let me know if you guys like it if I talk and or if you just want me to go straight into the video like I'm still gonna like put 
like what time the actual review starts but yeah i like going through the background and stuff sometimes i don't know why i don't wear this foundation <laughs> first okay so one thing i can say about the palette of uh, the quality of the packaging is that it's kind of a little heavy not heavy heavy but like you could tell that this is sturdy um not like sturdy like pat mcgrath palettes but it's pretty sturdy as a palette in general um also with the spine um with the new palette this is as far as i feel comfortable going and um for me i like to go full blown like bam you know when i open my palettes but like right now only partially far so yes the mirror looks pretty good from the angles that i've been looking at myself so um so far i had to look at myself like this but yeah that's it it'll it'll wear off after a while but first i'm gonna go into the shade sour diesel or diesel i don't know how to pronounce that sour diesel <laughs> uh which is this shade right here it's not too shabby um usually i don't use dark transition shades first i always like use like a lighter more neutral transition shade so that when I use a darker shade, it's not going to be as muddy, so I'm going to use a different mirror until that one breaks in, and I'm just going to put that into my crease. I'm going to scooch up. <laughs> I'm just going to scooch up a little bit for you guys. So what I could say about this palette is that this dirty, grungy type of shade, it is definitely, uh, you don't really have to take your time blending with these, honestly. They blend out really nice and smooth. I wouldn't say buttery, but they're pretty smooth. Like that little bit that I grab, as you can see, not too bad. I'm just waiting for, you could build it up into the level of grunginess that you would like to see yourself, which is something that I really appreciate. Keep on blending until I figure out what I'm going to do with my eyes today. So I know for a fact that these eyeshadow primer, these will be a little bit more um, opaque. But since this is something I feel comfortable using concealer with, it doesn't really bother me that it's coming out like this. So we are going to grab the other, only other matte shade in this palette, Space Queen, which is the more darker matte green. And we are going to mainly focus that on the outer V of our eyes. I'm going to try to do a half cut crease. We're going to see how that goes. With a smaller, more um, precise brush. Look at that pigment. Look at that pigment. Lovely. <laughs> what I've been doing lately when it comes to my outer V corner is just going slightly to my lower lash line just so it could be a little bit more even for me because I have a weird eye shape thanks to genetics. So I like to just tap, I like to um, just tap and then just blend it out. So I tap at the bottom and the top and I just Go in and I just blend it out. I can tell for sure that blending with a wet concealer versus a dry concealer will be a little bit harder, but it's still okay as you can see from my crazy eyes. You can tell by the end. I'm gonna grab the brush that has the rest left over of the first shade and just blend it in. As you can see, I cut my crease kind of, um, with my concealer, Juvia's Place concealer, I hate this concealer, but it does an okay job as cut crease. Um, so I will be doing a two dual eye, so one I will be green and one I will be gold, because I love doing that. I'll be spraying my brushes that I use for each eye with my MAC Prep and Prime Spray. You don't have to use MAC Prep and Prime Spray, I just do, because I just still want to use like a fine for this person. Go into the shade Mean Green, which is this one. First, pat that onto the brush. I'm going to focus that on the outer corner of my eye. Lovely. That's a nice, nice green. Same brush, we are now going to go into the shade Sweet Tooth, which is the middle shade, the shade that I called my name. Why I saw this? Because I love me some like 
anything that reminds me of the ocean type colors i like that <laughs> like a sunset or the water that's my type of a we're gonna blend it into the dark green and now we are going to swip, swap switch switch the brush to like the more clean side and we're gonna go into the last shade blue dream which is the lightest shade come on focus in this palette focus this shade right here I don't know why it's getting wired out by my ring light focus that into the inner corner and blend it in like we just did with the first one same type of ombreish effect with this eye so we're gonna go from darkest to lightest so when it comes to the gold as you can see it's more like which one's more rustic because this one's definitely like bam like gold and then this one's like oh gold this is like eh, there so i think i will start off with off uh, with gravity og which is the yellow gold kind of reminds me of trophy wife but it's not like trophy wife has its own unique type of gold this one's definitely more more pressly firmed in because these are pressly firm like these are firm like pressed in firmly but this one feels a lot more firm <laughs> i didn't play with the golds yet so as i can see i gotta be a little bit more careful especially with this brush this gold is bold so i'm just gonna wipe off some of the excess on the fifth time in the lap and now we're gonna go into black widow this one is Black Widow with the same brush. And yeah, this one feels a little bit softer. So Gravity OG is definitely like parsley firm, but uh, Black Widow feels a little bit more soft. We are going to grab the shade Granddaddy. Right? Yeah, Granddaddy. Grab Granddaddy and put that towards the inner corner. One thing I can say for sure is that Gravity OG can definitely overpower all the other golds, as you can see, but it's still not bad. Um, so far, it feels really nice. As you can see, the imitation's still popping, even with just concealer. Does it even match me? Oh, it does, kind of. I will be <clears throat> I'll be using my Marc Jacobs gel eyeliner in the shade blacker. Now I'm gonna grab a more pencil brush and I'm gonna grab two matte shades, of course, a uh, sour diesel and space clean. That's too much. And just kind of go underneath my waterline. A mini uh what is this benefit roller liner eyeliner i'm not gonna do a wing i can i can't i don't remember how i did wings back in the day um so i'm just gonna line my waterline with it Okay, so I don't know what shade I'm going to put. Yes, I do. I'm going to put Blue Dream, my favorite color, in this whole palette. 
this color right here and I'm just going to put that as my inner corner highlight. Y'all just gonna have to take a lot of synthetica, aka what my mom calls Elvira today because nothing else really works with this look and my unmatching foundation, but you know, this was a summer shade. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is the look I made. As you can see, I am very uh, proud of it. I think it's very cute and pretty. I think I, I think they mix and match and then let the lip. I don't know why I decided to put on this lip, but she's on now. This is the Fenty Beauty Underdog Mini Liquid Lipstick. I did a lot better putting it on today, let me tell you. But, um... Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, you know, one day you guys are just gonna be like, you know, your foundation never matches. And I know because the foundation that I like at that time of period is not the right undertone. <laughs> um, yeah, I rate this palette 10 out of 10. No problems, no complaints. There is no fallout um, at all. This is what the palette looks like after two thorough uses. This is what it looks like. Pretty good. It's pretty good quality like this palette if you guys enjoyed this video i highly recommend this palette so um my next video will probably be either a green eye makeup tutorial that i posted on my makeup instagram and i forgot to record it uh i ordered the melt cosmetics morete morete i, I announced the crap out of my words so i apologize um it should be here soon it shipped really quick i Stayed up all night because I don't live in California. I live in VA, and I stay up till three o'clock in the morning um, to see to get this palette because I love my favorite color is blue and like soft greens and stuff. But I always wear red. Like the first go-to hair color I go to for is like burgundy and or red because it looks good on me. And so when I saw that beautiful red and blue palette with that nice ugh, I know I'm I know. I know what I'm going to do with that one, so watch out for that. Um, I hope you guys had a nice and lovely day. I hope to see you guys in my next video. I don't really say this often, but all my social media is in the description box down below, just so you guys know. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys have a nice day. I'll see you guys in my next video. My foundation really does not match, bro. <laughs>